so uh, hello friend uh, this is the capacitor preferences plugin to store the data locally so we have the new plugin here make sure you have the latest uh, capacitor capacitor installed inside your ionic framework that is at least 4.0 so then you can able to uh, use this plugin to store the data uh, inside your ionic application with capacitor so to install this you have to run this command npx npm install capacitor pre slash preferences and after its completion of this com uh, execution of command you can simply run this npx cap sync so to, for more info uh, you can visit this page uh, page and you can see more uh, you can read more about this so i already created a demo for this uh, plugin so if you if you check we have the page here and the header is at the red capacitor the plugin name is the header and we have the button to clear all the storage clear all the preference storage and after this we have the list of keys here key 19 key 11 key 16 key 6 these are the keys stored inside the any preference storage so based on key we can view the data uh, of that key and we can delete that data key data from the preference storage based on this key so if i click view we can you can see we have the value for this value 19 of that key 19 key 16 uh, the value age value 16 key 7 the value age value 7 so on we have the 20 record here right now and if we have to delete any key any data from the storage simply we call the delete button and it deleted so you can see the that key is removed from this uh, this page if i click here key 17 key 17 is not here so you can see the key 17 is not present in the list and if i click on clear storage it's clear all the data so this is the implementation of this plugin and i refresh the page the data is stored again now uh, if you check the code uh, we have the two pages here that is ts and html so we import some uh, some library from capacitor slash preference plugin that is that is the first is preference edge. second one set options get options remove options so it is not used basically so let's remove this so this this we import from the preference plugin preference edge, set options get options remove options now after this uh, we have the keys array defined here we store the key keys stored inside the preference storage uh, this is the empty uh, above empty declared here now inside ng on it we just try to store the key value pair so first make sure we we delete clear all the data to remove all the data if any uh, stored before start before uh, this uh, ever uh, make sure we just making sure that that previous data is deleted so that's why so that's why we uh, call the preference dot clear method and it it was the and after this it returns the promise and you can see a inner function here and inside inner function we just create the key value key is a string key uh, merged with i i is declared here the what what is the i value will be assigned to uh, merged with the key string and same with the value so we have the key value pair and we declared the options object of type set options which we import above and inside we have two property here key and value so this is the options and to and we use the set method of preference to store the data and we pass the options and after the pro, when the promise result we increment the i value and if i value is less than 20 we call the inner again so it will store again the data if the increment value of i for the increment value of i and if uh, the i 
will be 20 or above 20 uh, we call the get keys method get keys basically uh, bind the keys array and get the uh, total stored keys inside preference storage and it bind to the uh, keys array so we, we have the all the keys list inside this keys uh, keys defined above uh, this is the empty array which we defined above so we have the all the keys of the preference storage inside this keys array so this this happens on the ng on unit and this is the code for storing the data for uh, count 20 now we have the method get value inside get value you can see uh, we call the view button and we pass the key as a parameter and inside this we define the get options object and pass the property key and call the preference get method pass the options and it returns the promise uh, with the value uh, the, the the stored value of that particular key so this is the get value method and delete storage is basically based on key we delete the storage it we pass the key and we create the object of remove options type remove option we pass the key and we call the preference remove method and pass the options above this options and it remove the promise if the it if it remove the promise promise it means the data is removed and we just call the alert deleted and again we bind the a uh, key array because the one uh, key one data is removed it means one key is removed that's why we again bind the key array by calling the get key method and clear or basically do nothing it remove all the data from from the local preference data data storage so this is the methods and on HTML we call this one by one so you can see uh, inside and list for binding we we have the keys uh, key inside the keys array so we loop through the keys and for every key we bind the key and we have the two button here get value delete storage we pass the key because we need the key or to get the value and delete the storage so we pass the key uh, as a parameter so this is the code for binding the html and and this is the clear all we call the clear all method from the clear storage button and i already show you that clear all will delete all the records so this is the code basically and and to use the preference storage so thanks thanks for the time we'll back soon with some other video Thank